Ready right, to see this? I'm just gonna bust Sniper. right in there. You ready for this? Somebody wants to- Oh fuck, they're all here! Oh my god! Back out, back out, board, board! I'll throw both my nades and that's it, fuck it! Oh my god! Yes! Badger okay, I got a couple. I got a couple. I I'm got sorry, a couple. I'm sorry. How, how ah. did that even not pull last time work? <laughs> Honestly, I busted in there. I saw everybody was looking at me. Wow. I threw out both my nades and started blasting, and it worked out. <laughs> that was way too successful. That's how you breach a room, boys, right there. Step by uh, step tutorial. According to plan. Ready your arms for immediate separation from your body. I can't do it, man. I can't do it. It's impossible. I'm trying to make the video without comparing Sledge to Shrek, and it's it's like gravity. I can't escape it. It has to happen. They're just too similar. They're both Scottish, they both live in swamps, they both look like, they smell like onions, and they both enjoy smashing wooden objects. Therefore, Sledge is Shrek. I'm also not sure why it took me this long to figure out that he's the most fun operator in the entire game. It's like every single round, I'm just begging my teammates not to take him so I can immediately rush the objective and start breaking shit. Let me smash. Please. But before I dive too deep right into the fun part, you should know that MC Hammer here does have quite the versatile kit. So theoretically, if you want to bust in with a reflex and start doming people, it will definitely do the trick. Alright. Same goes with the ACOG, you can kick back and stroll in slow and methodically if you want to, with the reassurance that when push comes to shove, your rate of fire and high zoom will be effective in suppressing the enemy. I, double that I got a down. double, I got a double, I'll pick you up. I'm sorry, if you unironically use the L85, please see a doctor, because you probably hate fun. Like, when I see people running around with this thing, I assume they weren't invited to enough pizza parties as a child and don't know how to enjoy themselves. Especially with the ACOG, why would you do that? Oh, there, there it is. There it is, everything. <laughs> On the topic of things that you shouldn't use, let's go ahead and pretend that the SIG-226 sidearm and flash grenades both don't exist. So if you're thinking about equipping either of those two, STOP THAT! Your true primary weapon with Sledge is a Sledge Hammer. I don't know why people don't understand this. You've got a shotgun secondary and a Mac-11 tertiary. Unless you have the Elite skin, in which case instead of a Sledge Hammer, you have a Scottish Wizard Staff. I should warn you that there's a slight difference between Sledge with and without the Elite skin. It's hard to tell, but here's default sledge without any skin at all the diffuser has been secured you've located a bomb make your way to its location and defuse it and here's sledge wearing his elite skin <laughs> No matter if you choose the default hammer or the Scottish wizard lizard staff, you've got to channel your inner Kool-Aid man, bust through every wall you can, fruit punch everybody in the face, and grape whoever's yeah. left over. Smash! <laughs> oh yeah! Wow. Wait, you, you did what? not. What? You, what? <laughs> what? Stop what? The next skill to master is the Shotgun Rush, which entirely relies upon Sledge's legendary, record-breaking SAS speed and strength that allows you to draw first blood within the first 20 seconds, sometimes the first 10 seconds of the round starting, when the other team is basically asleep. Standing cross. It's even more effective when you bring four recruits along with you to blast everybody away, especially when it's five versus one. Oh yeah! Please don't. No, please, I have kids. They just learned to spawn people. 
Yes! <laughs> I'm four right in the nuts, too. Right in the nuts. <laughs> you about to nut? I fucking oh. Oh. <laughs> Always keep in mind that your Mossberg 590 shotgun doesn't hit nearly as hard as it sounds, because even if you land all pellets center mass, it can still take up to three shells to put somebody down. So headshots are definitely preferred. Once you combine all these previous skills correctly, aces are simply something that will come naturally, so don't be surprised when you're killing everyone that breathes without breaking a sweat. Some. And just to clear up some confusion about the potency of this whole Kool-Aid man rush that I'm preaching about here, I never ever run into frost traps. Oh yeah! See, that wasn't a frost trap. Also, if you get shot in the face by a spawn peeker 10 seconds into the round and then you're immediately vote kicked by your squad, that's a sign that you're not smashing correctly. <laughs> Wait till you see the. F <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, those were my friends. Those were complete strangers that boat kicked me immediately after getting spawn peaked. Who knew that casual could be so competitive? And sweaty. Kavir mains happen to get especially butt frustrated by rushing strats, so if you ever happen to come across one, I think it's clear what must be done. Let me smash. Please. No, Ron. Go find Becky. And in case you're wondering what I have against Caviar, ignoring for a second her horrendous outfit that looks like something straight off the cover of a Kim Harrison novel. <laughs> I refuse to like or respect any woman that has the ability to shoot bullets out of her vagina. End of story. Terrifying. And that's about it. I'd like to thank you very much for watching and be sure to tune in next time when we make fun of Capcan for just being a shittier version of Frost. Yeah.